sausages. How I do it. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Oh. A womanhood has been womaning, so we taking it a little easy this week. We still working out. But even when you feel low, you can still go. Okay. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. What's up, Soul Searchers? It's your girl Souls, and I'm back with another video. What's up? How's it going? I wanted to interrupt our regularly scheduled workout program to say your girl is girling. And even though I did work out today, I am feeling depleted. And I do not want to talk about fitness. You know what I wanna talk about today is something that has to do with mental wellness. Because we're soul searchers and we are trying to find the best way possible to live this life by finding our souls, okay? We're searching our souls for happiness and that's what I wanna talk about today. Finding my happy. So I have done a lot of work, invested a lot of time into finding my happy, a lot of money. <laughs> <clears throat> this is me from the future, okay? We went back and looked at the whole two camera thing. We gonna stick with you. We gonna stick beside you. But we gave it a try, okay? We gave it a try, it's a fancy camera, so I wanted to try it. Um, <laughs> we just gonna focus here. <laughs> Yo, I had to record this thing all over and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just like, ah. Okay, so there are three things I really think would aid in finding your happy. So the first thing is opening yourself up to new experiences. Opening yourself up to something you haven't tried before. I've definitely been doing this lately as far as hiking with people, you know, with groups of people <laughs> who are probably fitter than I am. <laughs> uh, they've been really great and it's been really surprising and it actually puts me more in a comfortable zone to get out of my comfort zone and do something that's challenging. They are so sweet and wait on me. I am so slow. I'm a slow hiker. I'm like, let me look at the flowers. Oh, look, there's an ant crawling over because I have to pace myself. <laughs> but they are so sweet and they have really kind of boosted my confidence. So me opening myself up to that new experience and getting out of my comfort zone and still doing it because I'm not 100% comfortable still. I won't be comfortable until I feel like I can keep pace. It might take me a while but we are open to that new experience. <laughs> the second thing that I highly recommend on this journey of finding your happy is making new connections. It is really valuable to make those new connections, widen your network. I know, I know, we've been for years on the season of no new friends. I get it, I get it. Sometimes though, the circle that we're comfortable with doesn't challenge us, doesn't fuel us, doesn't push us into something new, doesn't necessarily allow you to find your happy, right? Okay? Or if you're like me, a transplant who moves around, <laughs> you might just not be close enough to your friends to be able to enjoy those experiences with them. So you have to make new connections. You never know if you make a new connection of someone who's doing something that you really want to do and that's a way you can find your happy. For me, it could look like finding a group of triathletes because I would like to do a triathlon, right? So a sprinted, a sprinted triathlon. <laughs> Let me be clear, a sprinted triathlon I would like to do. And so that would mean me making new connections with people who also consider themselves triathletes so that I can have people to train with and know what I'm working towards, know what gear and where to shop and all of those things, right? So making those new connections really helps you succeed in the things you wanna do to also find your happy. Now, I realize I'm saying a lot of fitness stuff. <laughs> My interests do not solely lie in fitness. 
but you know those are the examples we're coming up with today the third thing that i think is really helpful along the way is writing it down writing down what did actually make you happy what didn't what would you like to try what would you like to not try ever <laughs> and what are your boundaries what are your what are you open to you know even though you're open what are you open to like skydiving is that it because i'm not are you are you paragliding yes are you you know um i don't know going to a bookstore and doing a scavenger hunt with a friend there's a lot of different things that you could do there there are lives that you can live without centering them on fitness I promise so write it down because whatever you write down is your action step towards it happening it's not just the thought in your mind right it's an action of writing it down seeing it on the paper knowing that's what you want right and so I'm working on writing more action words um, using manifested statements like I am a triathlete I am healthy I am wealthy <laughs> I am whole <laughs> you know I am fit I am happy I am financially stable I am in love I am a wife you know, all the things that you want in life, you you want to write those down. So that way they come towards you, okay? You want to be mindful of what you're writing down. Because the words that we put into the atmosphere around us definitely take shape and impact and infiltrate our thoughts. And then are something that we constantly think about. So if you're writing down the positives, then, you know, you attract them. You attract those positives. So the first thing, like I said, is opening yourself to new experiences. The second thing is making new connections. And the third thing is writing it all down, okay? I'm working on that too. Let's be honest. I need to work on that too. All, all of these I'm still working on, you know? But they have proven successful in me finding my happy. I mean, I cannot tell y'all just how much these steps have worked for me and i am feeling a lot happier you know i was out there on the road opening myself up to love opening my heart opening my mind opening my spirit praying to god so thanks for watching soul searchers it has been really great doing this video like i said my womanhood has been womaning so we taking a little easy this week we still working out but I didn't want to do necessarily a fitness centered video. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this little shake up about finding your happy, me finding my happy. <sighs> I'm vibing it. It's great. It feels good. I feel a lot better than I have in a few years, you know, honestly. So yay. There have been moments of happiness, but like that fulfilling happiness is something that I really feel I'm drawing to me I love it here so I look forward to seeing you all next time if you know my womanhood is a woman in next week then I will do my way in I might try to do it even if I'm here but just know okay it might be might be rough um, but I'm taking a break from stepping on scale the rest of this week because we were trying at the beginning and i'm like oh no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am uh so i am looking forward to seeing you all next time i almost didn't do this but this is a part of me finding my happy i really enjoy making these videos to be perfectly honest and i do it for you as much as i do it for me <laughs> i do it for me as much as i do it for you that's really what that is i did um purchased this book body and soul and it actually is a really good book um i have a few things in here that are kind of like paper clips but it's a really good book i did also buy two new books i bought um making the movement how <laughs> yeah how activists fought for the civil rights so i bought this and then I did buy 
this black history book, which is really great. Uh, it's just talking about a lot of black history. So I love that these are a part of my collection now. I also think I wanna go buy, um, there's this book outlet and they have a W.E. Du Bois book um, about being a creative. And there's also this Nelson Mandela book there. So I wanna do that. Someone got this for me, which was really sweet. It has some amazing posters that I will be hanging around my house. And I am excited about this. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Y'all, it's about to be blackity black black up here. I'm nerdy and black, okay? So both of those things are about to exist in my house. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. Thoughtful gifts, okay? Soul searchers, thoughtful gifts. When you open yourself up to new experiences, <clears throat> who told you to do that, you know? Uh, you just really open yourself up to be gifted something amazing for someone who is still getting to know you, but knows you kind of well, okay? Knows you kind of well. I'm excited about the books that I have to read and I hope you encounter something that you love about woman history next month, you know, because it's literally tomorrow by the time you see this. <laughs>